okay um i'd like to welcome everyone who is here today to this meeting uh, i'm going to make myself visible and i will be disengaging from time to time i'd like to say welcome to everyone today we have a very exciting and important topic to talk about and it is mastering networking and relationship building and i think for many of us who are in this meeting today we may actually think that we have mastered networking because we are all networkers but i realized that we need to go back again to the fundamentals because it's only when we do the fundamentals well uh, is when we can really build long lasting relationships and we can build a solid organization so if you're in the building today and you are a networker you're a network marketer uh so this conversation is about how do you handle the the, the bolts and knots the foundation the real foundations of building a network uh of building long-lasting relationships so i'm sure all of us in this space today need this as a life skill this is something we need for our lives something we need for our businesses uh, so let's delve very quickly into this exciting topic what exactly do we intend to cover uh first of all you need to understand networking so we'll talk about understanding networking we we'll talk about how to build a networking mindset. We we'll talk about network marketing strategies. We we'll talk about how to leverage technology for your network marketing business and for networking generally. We we'll talk about how to build meaningful relationships, uh, tips and tricks. We we'll talk about overcoming network marketing networking challenges, and there'll be a question and a session uh, for quick discussion. So you can see that there's a lot to cover. Uh, if you think that this class will be beneficial to you, please hang in there. If you think it's going to be beneficial to somebody else that is not here, send them a reminder, you know, and it helps when you go to the groups, mention their names and say, you know what, you need to be here, you need to hear this because this is talking to you, okay? I think it's very vital that many of us get to learn the rudiments of how this works. What exactly is networking, okay? Uh, and it's very interesting that many of us are networkers, but what exactly is networking? what is the dictionary definition or what exactly do we mean when we say somebody is networking so let's break it down because these are the foundations of building our business networking refers to the practice of establishing and nurturing relationships with individuals both professionally and personally for the purpose of mutual support collaboration exchange of information resources and opportunities okay it involves connecting with people who can provide valuable insights assistance or assess potential career or business opportunities now this is networking networking transcends just the business of network marketing networking is everything you do to connect with people with an end of mutual benefit in mind with an end of collaboration of knowledge sharing of resource sharing of value sharing of opportunity sharing that can help you develop in your business or your career that is networking and if you have been networking you know you have been networking and if you have just been basically uh connecting with people with a plan to plug them into your team and sign them up then you know exactly what you're doing but networking is a deliberate attempt to establish and nurture relationships uh with individuals personally and professionally for the purpose of mutual support collaboration exchange of information and resources and opportunities and this conversation today is about how do we become better at networking and why is it important now today network marketing network, networking sorry i'm so used to network marketing isn't it networking is important because it's good for your career advancement for your business growth for learning and knowledge sharing access to resources for problem solving people can solve problems by bringing in multiple perspectives to solve it for emotional support and for building a reputation. If you look at all of these items here, which one of them will you say are your top two? Which of these are your top two reasons why you want to network? Please, you can type your answers in that comment box there. Which of these two will you see as top reasons for you? Without your answers, I can almost guess that yes, business growth will be one of them. I can also say it will be an ample opportunity for learning and knowledge sharing i can also say some people will use this for emotional support 
because they are part of a community of people that support each other. Uh, I also assume that here you probably have access to resources. So if I wanted to do something and somebody in the network already has it, I can simply leverage on what they already have. These are many more uh, benefits we get from networking. Okay. By networking, we have access to these benefits. Okay. I can see Felicia says business growth. Okay. So we have different reasons why we network. And I'm hoping today that we will learn the rudiments of how to network so that we can access all of these opportunities that are available. So if you have a problem today, you have a community you can talk to to say, can we look at this my problem together? Okay. If you want to learn, you can come to the group and say, I'd like to know something about this. Does anybody know about it? If I want to have emotional support, you know, somebody is mourning, you have uh, an event that you are doing, uh, maybe there's a funeral or maybe there's something that's happening, you want people around you. This networking provides an opportunity for us to have emotional support as well. Now, all of these are things that we can get value from from networking. And I like us to understand this networking. Please, you can please mute so that we can hear ourselves. I can see that there was some sound coming from Victoria Opara. Please mute so that we can listen to ourselves here. Okay, so please let everybody mute so that we don't uh, distort the meeting. So networking is important for these for these reasons. Uh, networking is crucial for the possibility of having this happen. So what exactly is networking and how can we benefit from it? And I think a very popular example I like to share with people is the story of the lions. Okay, lions exist in what you call a pride. Lions walk together, they move together, they move around together and because they move around together and they you know they go around together they enjoy the values that networking makes possible for them so a lion survival even though we say the lion is the strongest animal in the jungle a lion understands that it's only able to survive because of the opportunity to network together with other lions they call it the pride they share resources you know, it's an avenue that makes them able to be reproductive. They bond socially. So lions have a, you know, their cousins, their nephews, their nieces, they form a cluster together. They transfer knowledge. How does a lion learn how to hunt? By working with the network. They protect each other. Okay, the ones that are strong protect the weak. The ones that are strong go ahead and hunt. And they all benefit and feed from what is provided for corporately. Uh, buffaloes also gather together in thousands, but they are not a network because when trouble comes, everybody runs away independently. But lions, when trouble comes, they gather themselves together, they gather their energies together, and they try to attack whatever is coming against them together because that's how, these are the benefits you can get from a network. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're here today and you are not taking advantage of networking, it's time to begin to you know, beyond just trying to market people into a business, begin to build a network and build relationships. And I want to tell you that over the course of the next one month, this is something you need to become a master at doing because if you are going to get people to go along with you into the exciting possibilities for the future, it will be because you have learned how to master networking and relationship building. What are the mindsets that are crucial for networking? What mindsets do we need to have? Anybody who's going to be good at networking with others for mutual benefits, for, for resource sharing, and for all the benefits of identified is with networking, needs to learn how to be optimistic. Optimism is a mindset that network, networking gurus have. It means you are not a negative person. You are not an energy drainer. You are an energy supplier. People interact with you and they come alive because you are hopeful. You are excited about the future. You see possibilities. You're not looking for how things will go down. You're looking for how things will go up. Optimism is crucial to networkers. Okay? If you're here and when people get around you, it's only negative things you talk about. You are not operating with the right networking mindset. Networking people that network and are able to connect with people and build solid relationships 
have a long-term focus. They don't get tired because things are not working in the short term. They have a long game in mind. They know that in five years, this my association will make sense. In the next 10 years, this my relationship will make sense. They are long-term focused. Also, great networkers are generous. These are gentlemen. One of the things that has helped many people build phenomenal teams here is by doing giveaways, by sharing, by giving free bottles, by giving free samples. Generosity is a hallmark of a network, networking mindset. Networking people are also big picture minded. They see the big picture. They see what is possible. They see what is coming. And they are doing everything today to tap into and connect with and give value from what is coming. Okay, they see the big things that are coming in the future and they position rightly. They are also proactive. Okay, they think ahead. They are not reactive. They are not waiting for things to get bad. They are thinking ahead and saying, what can I become? What can I do? What can be valuable for the future? What can I do to make things work? These are the ways that networkers operate. Now, I'd like you to look at these five items. And please, very sincerely and honestly, use the chat box and score yourself over five. How do you think you're doing? Are you doing five over five? Are you doing four over five? Are you doing well five over five? I know all of us have a little bit of all of this. Otherwise, we will not have succeeded so far. For you to be here in this place today, you must exhibit some optimism. You must have a long-term focus. You must be generous. You must have a big picture mindset and you must be proactive. But if you say, I am doing very well in this one, I score one. I'm not doing so well in this one, I score zero. What mark will you give yourself over five? Please, in that chat box, score yourself over five on the mindset that you're operating your network marketing business with. Because beyond network marketing that we're doing as a business, we are all networking. We are all building relationships. There's a very interesting story in the Bible about a, a shrewd manager who was going to be sacked and then decided to use the resources he had to build relationships with his master's clients so that when they kick him out, he will still have something to do. These are gentlemen networking. Somebody says they can't see the screen. Is there anybody else who can't see the screen? Okay, if you can't see the screen, maybe you're not clicking on the screen. The screen is there. Click on the screen. Please, can you see the screen? If you can see the screen, please give me yes, so that those who cannot oh, see it. You can see it now. Okay, good. So, over five, what will you score yourself? Are you going to rate yourself very highly in optimism? Are you going to rate yourself highly in long-term focus, generosity, big picture, uh, proactiveness? Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're already scoring high on these things, it means that we probably can do a lot bigger, a lot better than we currently are doing because we already have the right mindset. Okay? So score yourself over five. How are you doing today? And where you need to be is five over five. Thank you very much, Mrs. Uh, Ogulesi. Four over five, that's a good score. Okay? But where we're going is five over five because you want to be, you want to be the kind of person that when people gather around you, they, they, they just want to share positive information. You know, they're not lamenting about Nigeria is bad, Nigeria is bad. Nobody gains anything from Nigeria is bad. Okay, but if you have, if you're optimistic, then you are a, you are an energy supplier. People gain from around you. If you have a long-term mind, you know that short-term, things may not work out well, but on the long-term, you know, things can become, you know, very well. If you're a generous person, you will keep giving. Sometimes you may feel tired and feel when are they going to give to me, but if you are generous, you will you will have you will earn a harvest. The longer it takes, the bigger the harvest. Big picture is about seeing beyond what everybody is seeing and knowing that there's something here, there's value here, and the fundamentals are right. And if the fundamentals are right, it will still make sense. Proactive people are people who are thinking ahead, planning ahead, and not waiting for life to happen to them before they you know decide what they want to do. They make their own future, they make their own dreams, they make things happen. Now, I like you are scoring ourselves. Some people are scoring four over five, three over five, one over five. Know the things you need to adjust. Know the things that you need to work on. These are very, very important. Now, what are the attributes of effective networkers? Okay. Now, these are not people who are making a lot of money in network marketing. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about people who are networkers. They are building a team that will be valuable to their future. You know, when they need to do anything, they have people they can call upon. They are building solid relationships that will pay them multiple value. They may not look like superstars of the short term, but they are the superstars of the long-term game. What are the attributes of these effective networkers? The attributes are empathy. It means they wear other people's shoes. They know how they feel. They are authentic. Okay? 
they are true to themselves while building relationships. They are not forming to be who they are not. They are real. They are curious. They are asking questions regularly. They don't feel that asking questions make them stupid. They know that curiosity helps them to grow. They are active listeners. Okay, they are not focusing on on themselves. They are focusing fully on the speaker, acknowledging their thoughts and responding thoughtfully. And they are reciprocal minded people. They know that by offering help and sharing knowledge and providing support, they are building goodwill and they are establishing long term relationships of give and take. Very, very important. What are the fears that people have and how do you overcome them? To overcome your fears of networking, uh, and this is basically remember what we're talking about here is building relationships. Those relationships may end up as business partners, they may not, but building those relationships will always pay you, even if they don't pay your business in the short term. How do I overcome these networking fears? One, set goals that are realistic, don't start too big, connect with a few people and gradually expand your network. Prepare and practice, okay, before going for any seminar, any webinar, any network marketing, networking events have a way to briefly introduce yourself. Stop focusing on yourself. Focus on others. Don't be self-centered. It will make you anxious. Focus on people. Find out how you can be of value to them. It will help you overcome looking at yourself. And then number three, number four, visualize success. Expect success. Okay? Our expectations are self-fulfilling prophecies. If you expect to have successful networking connections, and meet with new people and have good rapport with them and build long-term relationships with them, it will be because you have already visualized success. So visualize success. Okay? Very, very important. Now, there are strategies you can use to build these relationships online and offline. Okay? Networking strategies online and offline. Now, for the audience I'm talking to here today, we are mostly offline people. Okay? But there's value we can get from online as well. There's a lot of value we can get from online as well. Let's leverage online. How do we leverage online? By making sure that we are present, by making sure that we can connect with people on those platforms, and then we can leverage our offline as well and do things better there as well. What are the things that we can do and how can we make this work? Okay, for online social media platforms, make sure that you are there and you are sharing valuable content, engaging in discussions, and using private messages to initiate conversations regularly. In the words of now late Jesse Lee, uh, who died two days ago, uh, and she thought she us a lot of things, and I'm just going to remind, you know, do this in her tributes and remember her today. I like to say, in our words, be omnipresent in social media. Be available everywhere. Okay? Don't be unavailable. Be available. Let them be able to see you. Okay, where else can you gain whatever? Be available on professional networking sites. Look for places where other people are connecting in your field, healthcare in your field, financial intelligence in your field, wellness, be there. Okay, join virtual events and comment in virtual events. Let people be able to recognize you. Let people take note of you, ask questions. Okay, if you are here today and you have content, then you need to have a blog or a content sharing platform, okay? Uh, is there anybody here who has a blog? If you have a blog here today, you have somewhere where you are sharing information on a regular basis and you have people who are following you specifically for the knowledge you're sharing, please give me a one in the chat box. If you don't have a blog, give me a two. I want to know how many people here are blogging and how many people are not. I want to encourage you that you need to start blogging, okay? You need to start becoming an authority. Your expertise is not known until you are consistently writing about it. The experts are not the readers. The experts are the writers, okay? The people of, and guess what? You may find that you have a small audience. That audience will grow into something big. So don't write on social media alone. Write on social media join professional networking sites, have your own website so that every time you write, you can sign off with your own particular link of where you blog. In virtual events, people can be related to who you are and where you are as well. You want to have your own base. Very important. And then you may begin to develop a database of people's emails that you are mailing regularly. Okay? And be able to reach out to people and connect with them. Many of us caught too with blogging and content creation. This is something you should pay attention to. Okay? 
uh, you can have that you can have a broadcast list and begin to have a place where if people want to research and find out knowledge about a particular area they can come to you okay very very important offline is simple attend events ladies and gentlemen you and i as networkers are people who should be industry conferences seminars workshops in your area of interest if there's a dog show and you like dogs go there if there's a something happening the gathering of engineers be present leverage these opportunities have a business card if you need help with printing we can give you a deal get a business card exchange cards with people and facilitate follow up with them join the chambers of commerce join the nse join the ns join the group in your category so that you can be meeting new people okay look for opportunities to volunteer okay uh speak at events you know don't charge for it just do, do there and add value in what you have expertise in join professional organizations all of these are ways to build networks online okay so uh, Mr. Says, uh, WhatsApp just does a lot for her daily that's amazing it's a channel to get micro content available to people on a regular basis okay i hope it's making sense and you are gaining value okay uh all of us need to learn the rudiments the basics in every time i go for a meeting offline or online i want to make a memorable first impression okay make a memorable first impression let the people who meet you who get to connect with you let them have a good basis uh you know who have a good basis to to want to meet you again and they have a good reason to want to see your face again and how do you do this if it's a physical meeting dress well use your body language to your advantage be a positive vibrant person if it's an online meeting listen attentively listen chat in the chat box you know reinforce some of the things that have been said show that you're not just sleeping on your laptop show that you're listening actively and you're participating comment okay know how to introduce yourself fine-tune your craft of how you speak about yourself and share in a few minutes this is who you are this is what you do this is what you enjoy give people a reason to reach you again okay and that you are not ever completely dressed until you put on a smile so smile okay smile be generous with your smiles smile for people to see smile for people to connect okay these are strategies you can use online and offline and then learn how to initiate conversations ladies and gentlemen imagine that you want to grow the list of friends and relationships you have in many of those friendships you will need to be the conversation starter okay uh, approach people with a friendly greeting and introduce yourself use open-ended questions to encourage meaningful discussions find common ground okay build rapport find something in common with the person okay offer compliments or express genuine interest in the other person's work or experiences respect personal space and boundaries okay very important um let me ask a question here when was the last time you went for an event that was a seminar that was a public meeting that wasn't green monday or it wasn't a social event like a wedding or funeral or birthday when was the last time you went for something where you could meet people i need answers i need answers because the more of those things you go for the more of the places where you are visible and present the more your network can grow and the more your network grows the more your business can grow so in those meetings you need to initiate conversations good mi says i attended one last week okay the government says end of july okay you can see the networkers amongst us they are having meetings regularly if you can't say you know any of those things like end of july or last week or last month or mid-august then the reason why your network if your network is not growing your team cannot be growing okay very very important thank you very much all those contributing awesome maintaining conversations requires being an active listener it requires sharing your relevance exchange your relevant experiences without dominating the conversation Using your body language, nod, eye contact, show engagement, ask follow up questions and delve deep, deeper into topics of interest, avoid controversial or sensitive subjects that may disrupt the flow of the conversation. Okay? This is how to maintain the conversations 
and keep the talk going on. How do you exit? Okay, there are times when you have started, you've met somebody, you want to meet more people. Your goal is to meet 10 new friends in the seminar you're going for. Okay, not just one. So if this person is talking for long and is long-winded, know when it's time to move on. Express appreciation for the conversation. Thank you for spending time with me. Please, can I have your number? I'd like to be able to be in touch with you. It's been exciting learning so much from you. I wish you well in all your networking and endeavors. I will be in touch. On to the next and on to the next. Form a good impressed impression. You know, connect with people, find rapport, just with them, and then follow up. Okay? Uh, you need to learn how to start the conversations, maintain the conversations, and exit the conversations gracefully. Okay? And then you need to learn how to leverage technology. The truth is we live in a world that is technology-driven. Okay? It means you will need to be able to connect with LinkedIn, connect on Twitter, join regular, you know, good groups and communities, share high-quality content, engage, engage, engage. Okay? If you want to build a network of people in a particular category, go to where they are as well. There's no fisherman who stays at home and wonders why the fish are not coming. Okay? If you want to catch fish, you go to the river, you go with your fishing gear, and you engage. The same thing here, okay? Any means you find in your port that ran from the forest, crossed the express, came to town, dodged traffic, and located your house, jumped into the bottle of stew, and cooked itself, is very dangerous meat. Don't eat it, okay? If anything is going to come to you, it will require your efforts, it require your going out, it require your activity. The same way, you need to leverage on these online skills, online tools to build your network. Okay, and then you want to build meaningful relationships. Okay, you want to build meaningful relationships. Can you mention the name of one person you have built a meaningful relationship with that you didn't know before you joined this business? Okay, is there anybody? Mention names. I can mention one name, two names, three names of people you have built enduring meaningful relationships with since you joined this business. Okay, now, um, you want to make a culture. It's not about only for your business. You want to make a culture of building meaningful relationships. And how do you do that? By building rapport. Finding common ground. Okay? Felicia Alessia says, it's all edit. I know. I know actually that's a quality relationship built on the back of meeting here. And it can be more expanded than that. Okay? So Mrs. Says, yes, Mrs. Fali Kulo, I know about that relationship as well. It's a very deep relationship as well. Okay, so build rapport, find common ground, build trust by making deposits into people's emotional bank accounts, be reliable, be trustable, make promises and keep them, make commitments and deliver on them. Okay, uh, listen generously, have empathy. Awesome. Okay, so you already know how to build new relationships. You can only force, you can only make it better. Give before you get. Give before you get. Okay, very important. Find how you can add value. Express gratitude. Show appreciation for little things. Okay, yes, I can see my mind there as well. Very beautiful. Okay, beside this one, yeah, Dr. Rita, awesome. Express gratitude for little things. Stay in touch. Regularly check in. Ask people, how are you doing? You know, it's been a while I checked in with Mrs. Fali Kulo. I probably need to do that. Okay, uh, it's been a, quite a while. I've checked with some people. I probably need to check in on them. Remember that song? I know sometimes it'd be like, say, nobody send you that one and lie. You know, check in. Check in from time to time. I think that's worth it. And then face-to-face -face, uh, interactions are important. So create time to meet face-to-face. -face. It is valuable as well. So let's build lasting relationships. It helps our network as well. Common challenges that people have in networking are fear of rejection, lack of time, shyness, social anxiety, lack of confidence, or introversion. Okay, and I'd like to ask a question here in this place today. Now, I know that I have veterans in the room, veterans of many progressive battles. I have the Higgy, the Haga, the who is who in the networking space, but I'm sure we all have our weaknesses. Which of these areas? Will you say is a little bit of a concern for you? Okay. And let's be honest with ourselves. Is it fear of rejection? 
Is it lack of time? Is it shyness or social anxiety? Is it lack of confidence? Is it introversion? Or is it N-O-A? None of the above. N-O-T-A, nota. None of the above. Which one of these are things you struggle with? What are your, which of these are your common challenges? Okay? Uh, Felicia says social anxiety. Now, let's say to me, if you identify your challenge and you are able to solve it scientifically, then you have no problem. Okay? I can see I expected, as expected. It also says not, a, not none of the above. Of course, Mrs. Feo Grace says none of the above. And I'm sure Dr. Fumi also will say none of the above. And I'm sure Emma will also say none of the above. Not a, okay? So like I said, I'm speaking to veterans here today, people who understand these things. If you are battling any of them, you want to ask yourself, why? Why am I battling with them? And what, what can I do to solve it? So I'm not going to even spend more time here because we're all veterans, but we have team members to build. So for those who are fear of rejection, shift your mindset. Okay? Start counting your rejections. And start small. And be realistic. Set realistic goals and you have no problem. For those who say lack of time, prioritize it. And suddenly you have time. Use technology where you can. And then do multitasking and combine activities where you can as well. For those who say social anxiety, practice. Prepare. Set realistic goals. If you do this well, your social anxiety and your shyness will be a thing of the past. None of us really, really, really were born shy. We learn shyness. Okay? And how do I know? Because when you are born, you are born naked. I am not trying to cover your private parts. Okay? <laughs> it means we are all bold. We all come out and go around naked. And nothing is worrying us. But we learn shyness. We learn to be shy. We learn to conceal. We learn to be anxious. And we can unlearn it as well. Okay? By preparing, 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 and practicing. Okay? Some people will cite lack of confidence. If your confidence is not high enough, then you can build it. Okay? Nothing will happen. Yeah? <laughs> uh nothing will happen okay nobody's going to beat you yes so have confidence reflect develop the skills seek support celebrate your success your successes you know set the milestones set the milestones celebrate your successes it will grow your confidence okay and of course if you say that the issue is introversion then plan ahead be proactive you don't need to take your your weakness as this is how I was born. This is my DNA. It's called genetic determinism. Don't allow your DNA to determine you. Choose your own future. Okay? You can make up your mind. This is what I want my future to be. And go out there and seek it out. Okay? Very, very important. Okay? Uh, Mr. Gulish is saying something. People in my age bracket often wondered why. They wonder why what. Why what? I want to understand what they are wondering why. Why you are not shy? Why you are bold? Or why what? So that we can help them out. So this gentlemen, um, networking is a fundamental skill that is crucial to us being able to build a phenomenal business. Okay? Networking is crucial. Relationship building is crucial. And I, I'm saying networking beyond network marketing. Networking is a skill development area. If you know how to connect with people, you will add value to them. They will add value to you. It has big, 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 big opportunities and options for you long term. I can't even know where to start from. I know people who have been a blessing to me on account of my reaching out to them and connecting with them many years ago. Okay? So, yes... I understand uh, the concern for network marketing precisely, Mr. Gulesi. But guess what? If we deliberately say, you know what? Yes, some of them will do network marketing, some of them will not. But if I deliberately build my network and meet new people and grow my relationships and grow my, it will have impact on my business today. It will have impact on many things in the future. I have been beneficiary of bank loans because I have a network. I have been beneficiary of business contacts and deals in millions because I have a network. I have a beneficiary of amazing things in different places just because of the people that I'm connected with and are linked up with. So I want to encourage you here today, build your network. 
okay? Some of them will come and do your business. Some of them will not. But build your network, build relationships. I tell you, your business is as big as your network and it's as small as your network as well. So those are my thoughts this evening. Um, I hope you have gained value from mastering networking and relationship building. Now we have time for some question and answers. If you're here today and you have any questions, please raise your hand and I will tell you to unmute and you can ask your questions. And if you prefer to type it, you can type it there in the comment box as well. I will read it and I will answer it. If you want to ask your question audi audibly, please raise up your hand. There's your hand raised there. Click on it. I will invite you to speak and you can share with us exactly what you want to share or ask your questions. Okay, so we have Bartholomew Itoro. Please, you can go ahead and unmute and ask your question. Uh, good evening, sir, and everyone on the call tonight. Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. All right. I don't really have a question. I have a little contribution in regards to maybe meeting with people. Uh, to, it was last month we had a conference in church, and as I usually do, I had bam in my bag so i saw a lady she sat close to me she was like she used a boniki kind of so i just noticed she didn't really concentrate so i needed to give her bam so she was like say how much is it i said well it's 500 naira but i'm not giving it to you i'm just gifting you just go with it since she said she has no money so as and they, they discussed the topic on uh, hormonal imbalance in women people were like deliberating so i just told her there is a natural product that can help people to solve this problem she got interested so after the whole thing we exchanged our numbers we kept talking this evening so when she now told me that she would love to pick some of her products i said which one in particular i said okay the one that i told her about hormonal imbalance i just said okay this 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 and this she said okay she's not picking for herself alone she also wants to pick for a sister-in-law that she introduced the with the bam and what she has experienced through the bam she knows let her just give it a try so i just told her well if you want to register that the product will be a bit cheaper, kind of. And she told me, I think she's into patent uh, medicine or there. But lo and behold, this evening, she just sent me money for the registration so that she can pick uh, Restore and Beaters. I told her, fine. So based on what you're saying now, I didn't mean I didn't go for the conference. I wouldn't have met with her. And I did mean I didn't, mean I didn't even give her the bam. That wouldn't have. It wouldn't to tell her so i just know by the time she will get the product tomorrow and start using it will be an amazing one for her whatever issue she is going through the product will help so i would what i will do more now is maybe going out to meet new people sometimes maybe the people that are close to us they are so used to this reader that it's like become a thing what are you even to like meet new people there are so many people out there that really need to know about this product and this evening a woman called me that the son was not able to urinate and this jokingly when i said i'll still leave this thing and the mother told just called me like 30 minutes ago that this one was not able to urinate and just administering reader the boy that could not urinate for three days just urinated just with 20 mils of radar bitters in warm water you know what i say here that she has not been telling people about this product, but henceforth she's going now to tell people that god has really used this 20 mils product to make her not to spend money in the hospital so we just need to go out there to let people know what we have with us wow. it, it's not easy but we can just do it once we are confident once we are bold knowing to all that our products will not disappoint them on the long run thank you very much sir thank you very much it's all Bartholomew. well done well done well done thank you dr fumi i know please you can unmute and you can speak okay good evening everyone and thanks for the good. presentation i hope we're going to have the recording very soon so mine is i think it's it's not I don't know how to put it, but anyway, a friend called me 
a few days ago. <clears throat> he said, pick up, I have a reader patient for you. And, you know, someone was a doctor, someone was with her and I, she told me what her problem was. And I think unconsciously, I, I put aside, oh, buy, restore, buy this. And I sort of delved into her history, talked to her about, you know, what I thought. And just because of that, first of all, she had already bought some natural supplements that they said would be okay for whatever is wrong with her. She said she's going, she's putting those aside. She's going with Rida. She's introduced her brother who is in here in the US to me. The brother has bought products. She's buying products for herself and for her husband just because, I mean, I didn't make it about selling the product. Mm. Mm. I made it about but this was not really conscious. <laughs> but I was just surprised that she said, I'm not, I'm, this is the product somebody sold to me, but I'm not using it. I'm going to go with Rida. I just like the way you talk to me. It wasn't about selling and selling. And so it was just interesting. <laughs> so I just awesome. remembered that awesome. now. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That's the solid reinforcement of the conversation as well. So say, look, <laughs> what we want to do is we want to network and build relationships. And there's a lot of value there. You know, and I like this example to say somebody, somebody saw that it was about selling, and then decided, look, I want to buy now, because I like the way you spoke with me. I like, you know, if I if I recount in my own not so, not so long duration of life, the amount of goodwill that I've enjoyed, just from building relationships, of of giving before you get, of being generous of having a positive mindset of how things would be you know it has been for me it's been as basic as and i'm sure some of us have experienced as well i want to travel somewhere and you have a family insisting when you come you need to stay with us we want to host you you know we want to host you we want to we want to you know we want to be there for you as well um and i think it's just amazing the beauty of really really building relationships and what we have discussed today is, you know, how to start it, how to maintain it, why it's important, the, you know, the attributes to build, the, the mindset to have, you know, and how to overcome the obstacles along the way. Um, the recording, awesome. The recording is going to be available. It's going to be quite heavy because, uh, because it's, uh, there's a video element in it. But it will be available on the, you know, online in in not very long. I'll try and uh, ensure that it's downloaded and uploaded as quickly as possible as well. Admin, I'm sure admin can hear me. Okay. So, any other questions, ladies and gentlemen? Any other questions? Okay. In the absence of other questions, I'd like to say thank you, everyone, for showing up today. I hope you've got some value. Uh, we had 25 people in this meeting today. I'd like to encourage us. A subsequent meeting, let us invite more people. And, of course, the link will be available. We can share as well. Sometimes when I see the links and I see that the 100 people have watched it, 200 people have watched it, I know that many people watch it after as well. Okay? Thank you very much, everyone. It's been my pleasure today sharing. I hope this adds value to us and to our business. Let's keep giving. Let's keep sharing. Well done, Isaac Lawrence. I hope it's going well with you in Joss. Okay, well done. Nice having you. Uh, Layo Atiba, you're welcome as well. Uh, Bode Onifade, you're welcome. Uh, and everybody else, I hope it's been a good time. Thank you very much, everyone. I'm going to play some music. Um, 